Positive charged ion engine. It's the counterweight, it's the engine. Time's out to about 15 RPM. Power is now off. It's just coasting down. Vandy graph generator. I'll show you that mechanism. See the pointer, this is the generator, these are just pickups. This is a coil induction. This is what makes it work. Very high frequency. Pulse. Buzzes. You can probably hear it. I'll start this thing up. Nothing but an air core coil, secondary coil. You can adjust these, the gap. This is very close to the ideal for this particular setup. As you can see, we're here. I use a shield, there's a shield, as you can see, it is running. Maintains about the same speed. It won't quite start on itself, you can coax it into starting on itself, but it's just a long process.
but if you just give it a little push, the thing takes right off. It's quite small. I'm just going to let it coast down. This is the <clears throat> positive charged unit. This is ground. Literally, it's just grounded back to the base of the Van de Graaff generator. The gap is just enough to stop it from sparking over. Get it too close, it starts to spark over, and it won't fire. It, it, it won't uh, generate very much thrust if any that's how I start it that's all you got to do to start it give it a little push turn the machine on maybe you can hear the buzzing I don't know it'll actually pick up speed till it picks up to its comfortable RPM it's just strong enough to overcome drag and any friction in it bearings on the rotating part. The generator is capable of 200,000 volt potential, though I do think it's reaching that because the bleed off is. But it is enough to run it. Now It won't run on the uh, Wimhurst. This is the Wimhurst generator it puts out 70,000. I've tried it. it. It wants to try to run, but it's just not strong enough. Not enough potential. It'll eventually coast to a stop, but this one will run continuously. Shut it off. It'll coast down. It turns quite easy. Not a lot of thrust, but there's enough to make it move. 